Capricorns, welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It's time for your weekly reading. I'm shuffling these angel cards. Very good. We're going to pull you out a word of advice from your guardian angels and spirit guides before we do your tarot reading. This will be a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first part of the reading. One more little shuffle here for our angel cards. Let me pull you out a card. Okay, Capricorns. What do you need to know from your guardian angels and your spirit guides? What do we have here? Oh, it's right down in here. There's the one. This is the Nine of Abundance. I'm going to read it to you. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will, pro will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. Wow. Maybe some of you don't even realize what you have. Wow, I like that. That's lovely. Okay, let's get on to the tarot reading. So if any of these cards fall out, I'm putting them back in the deck because they're very slippery until I'm ready for them to come out. This is a general reading that will not resonate with everyone. You can take from the reading what does resonate, or you might think about maybe a private reading, which I do private readings if you just send me an email. Let's get started. One more little shuffle here. Okay, Capricorns. Let's find out. What can you expect coming up in your life? What's coming in? What's leaving? What is hidden that may need to be revealed? Any advice in moving forward is so appreciated. They're coming out all right. The Capricorns. Please, universe. Capricorns. Oh, that went right back in. For Capricorns. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Quite a few cards. I put the cards down in the same order they come out of the deck. Oh, okay. I see some things already. Okay, we have a few cards left over. So we need a couple more for the second part of your reading. So Capricorns, uh, the Four of Pentacles is surrounding your entire reading. This is like, you know, hold on to what you've got. Um, it, you know, it kind of goes with the Guardian Angel card. It's, it's like, you know, appreciate what you have. You deserve to have good things. You deserve to be financially secure, independent, stable, grounded. Um, so it looks like the, the overall energy of this reading is holding on to your pentacles. Whoops. Sorry about that. I have the fool in your highest energy. Well, oh boy. So the fool, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun while it lasts. Uh, throwing caution to the wind, kind of like dancing along with your head in the clouds, living in the moment. But eventually you come to the edge of the cliff and that is where things start to change. So, um, are you looking for uh, groundedness, security, stability? 
because it does look like you are. It looks like you were living in the energy of the fool and you've come to the edge of the cliff and now you're looking for some type of commitment. And the Knight of Pentacles here is the slowest moving energy in the entire deck. You know, usually both people do not reach the edge of the cliff at the same time. Uh, usually one wants to stay in the fool's energy because it is a lot of fun and it's carefree and you don't have to worry about the other person so much. And, you know, there's bonuses to it, but it never lasts. And so the slowest moving energy here in this whole deck has shown up right next to the fool. And, uh, uh, and they're bringing in a pentacle. So you're waiting for this pentacle to come in and it's taking forever and ever. It's right above the four of pentacles. You have pentacles of your own. You don't have to have this one. You want it, it looks like. You're coming out of that energy of the fool. You're starting to look forward to your future. I have the devil right next to the knight of pentacles. This is your card, Capricorn, but nothing like the energy. This is just your card, um, but the energy of this card, completely different, is about the pentacle again, but that pentacle does not come forward. It's because there's toxic energy around whoever it is that you want this pentacle from. Either they want to stay in third party type relationships, or they just want to date, or there's some, someone or something else attached to them that makes this toxic when you're wanting a committed and solid relationship now, and uh, they're not. So let's see if we get past that. I have the Six of Swords under the Fool and next to the Four of Pentacles. Looks like you're moving forward. It took a while to move forward from the Fool's energy. Uh, you did. Uh, you're gathering up swords of truth and clarity. And you're moving away from stormy skies, dark waters, into a much brighter place in your life. Truth and clarity will help you find your peace, your love, your happiness. So you're heading that direction with your own pentacles here. I have the Knight of Swords next to the Four of Pentacles and under the Devil. It, it, this is a very actionable card in the tarot deck. This is taking action, going forth, seeking that truth, seeking that clarity, and from this devil energy. So this is from the other person. You want you de like demanded truth and clarity from them. Like, where's the pentacle? Because um, it's time, you know, to move forward. And it just feels like you get the truth from them. You demand the truth from them. And that's part of the swords that you pick up as you go along. Uh, you have your own pentacles. I kind of feel like you're moving forward on your own here, but let's see where this is going. I have the three. Oh, well, you were. So you were moving forward on your own. But they come back. <laughs> they come back. You know, some people need uh, to be away from the people that they love in order to appreciate the love they have for them, and that, that's what this feels like. It feels like you do go off on your own. You take your own pentacles. They told you the truth at the time because you demanded it. But they started thinking about this. Now you're starting to realize, hey, wait a minute. I've got feelings for this person. And I, I want to reunite with them. This is a happy reunion here. So as you're moving forward, you haven't quite reached the other side. You haven't quite reached that bright spot in the sky. But you're almost getting there when they come back and um it's it's a lovely reunion three of cups right next to the three of cups is a nine of cups and the nine of cups is right below the four of pentacles so you have all this love that you've just been keeping bottled up bottled up inside of you no one to give it to because they didn't want to commit and you wanted out of that fool's energy type relationship that you were in so they come back, you have all this love that still, you still love them, but you weren't acting on it because it wasn't going anywhere, and, and you knew that you had to move forward. And right next to this Nine of Cups is a card for you again, Capricorn. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. Now, all cards are male or female, and the Kings and Queens are very mature thinking. Look at that huge pentacle you've got. 
you know, you have pentacles, you're secure, you're stable, you're solid, um, and you're committable, and you're available, and you have lots of love. I mean, I think that they they find they realize that they're like what am i doing here by letting them slip away <laughs> you have it all and and that i could see why you would be frustrated and wanting to move forward if they didn't get it well they didn't get it at first but it looks like it comes to them a little bit later and they show up for a reunion with you Oh my gosh, they certainly do show up. Let's take out the couple other cards that we need for this reading for Capricorns, please, universe. Here we go. <clears throat> wow, oh wow, okay. Ten of Wands, right next to the devil. You know, whatever this burden was, or whatever this toxic energy was that they were carrying, they're letting it slip away. Look at that, Ten of Wands. There's no Eleven of Wands. So this is the end of a burden that they were carrying. Wow. Also, I have the Four of Swords next to the Ten of Wands. The Four of Swords is this time that you take to yourself. That all this meditation, all this thinking, all this, you know, praying or soul searching that you had to do to figure out what you were going to do about this situation. You did spend a lot of time and really went deep before you decided to move forward. You probably did this before you even demanded the truth from them. That helped you put down your burdens so that you knew what to do with your life. I have the world card next to the four of swords. You wanted a different to enter another life cycle. And you do. So this is what you decide. You decide that you're going to move forward with or without them. This is the world card. It's a beautiful card. And it is a beautiful place. This is not, uh, you know, a place that you wouldn't want to go. But this is opening doors, it looks like, into your life with this other soulmate that wouldn't come forward with a pentacle. I have the Page of Swords right under the Ten of Wands and next to the Knight of Swords. So you're going forth and you have your sword out. That's what the Page of Swords is all about. It's like, you know, just kind of browsing, looking for the truth, looking for the clarity as you come across it. You'll swing at that sword if you have to. But you will just keep it out and you are going to be hyper aware of uh, what's going on around you. Especially once you found out the truth with this person who wanted to stay in the fool's energy. And then I had the four of wands right next to the page of swords and under the four of swords. Wow. See the 11, 11? They are a soulmate. They're definitely, a, a, they're a strong soulmate. This is... Uh, a very uh, strong connection that you had with this person and I think with the lack of you not being around has made them like open their eyes and they're realizing what a strong connection they have with you they, they miss you I can see that and so um, this is a card for marriage too this is a card of celebration and union between two people so I feel like you know you you felt the connection they might have felt it but was ignoring it and they had something toxic attached to them they needed to let go anyway before they could come forward and it looks like they did go to work uh, they did what they had to do before they show back up uh, in your life and this time with love because I had the knight of cups here too right next to the four of wands and under the world and here they are they're coming back in this time with that cup of love they want you back in their life. They missed you. Uh, they This time apart from you was made really made them think. Really made them think about what you really had. The connection you really had. So they come back in with this cup of love. Under the page of swords and next to the pink king of pen, If I could talk. The king of pentacles. I have the three of swords. 
So it did break your heart. I mean, this was a very difficult thing for you to go through, for you to decide that you needed to just move forward on your on your own. Uh, this is especially after this truthful conversation that you had with them. It was it was heartbreaking. So there you are, but you still have your pentacles. You still have your love. And I have the King of Cups right next to the Three of Swords and under the Four of Wands. This can be water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in someone's chart here around this reading. But you have this cup of love. You still love this person. They come back in with their cup of love. This reunion is happy. You're happy that they came back. Okay? So I think they really want to give this a, a shot. They really want to give this a try. They want to see where this relationship really can go. I have the Queen of Wands next to the King of Cups and under the Knight of Cups. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But there you are, holding on to that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And, you know, you're ready to move forward. Um, this is a very passionate card. You have a lot of passion for this person. They, they really might have fire too in, or in their chart, water, fire. Ah, they can have any of them, earth, air. But um, there you are. And you're very, look how confident you look. I mean, just standing there, male or female, very mature minded. And it's like you listen to everything they have to say when they come in. And you, then you take it from there. So what I see is a happy reunion with someone you thought it was over with because, you know, their truth at the time was that they did not want a committed relationship. They did not want to move forward with you. But this time apart, they change. Um, they realize what the connection was that they had with you. And it was very strong. And they come back and they want to see where this might end up going. So nice reading, Capricorns. Thank you for listening to Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels, my spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.